Hey Vibe Tribe, this is Jess Venus with Life Force Energy. Happy Halloween to each and every one of you. Are you all enjoying your evening? I had a really great week with my family and we were able to decorate pumpkins. We got to have a nice Halloween event with LFE members and we have been playing video games. We've been eating to the fill. We've been having a great time. And then I started thinking about my grandmother because I thought, oh, this is the time that I get to communicate with my loved ones that are crossed over. <laughs> Here in Colorado, it looks like a total Halloween night. It's so mystical. It's cool. It's got like this fog. And it looks as though the rain wants to turn into snow. It's so pretty. But it's not a full-on rain. It's very Halloween. And so I wanted to share with each and every one of you what you can do. Everyone celebrates Halloween the way that they feel is close to their heart. So... I like to go ahead and dress up with the family. We do a lot of fun games. We've been dancing, listening to music, eating, just doing our thing together because we're celebrating that we're alive, that we are living together right now, even when things may seem out in the outside world kind of scary. <laughs> so we go ahead and we make the best of it. But I wanted to share with you in case you wanted to know what you can do for Dia de los Muertos, like the time to celebrate those that have already crossed over. This picture right here is my grandmother. And I was a teenager and I got to live with my grandmother. See, so yeah, it was just a teeny bopper. And what I use to symbolize when I'm creating a setting for her, I have the wings, which is the butterfly, meaning this is her transition of new life, of transformation. And she took her wings and she was to go. Here I have the card of family harmony showing the angelic beings. And then I use the symbolism of certain things that I knew that was near and dear to my grandmother. So my grandmother loved having some fruit. I got her some decaf coffee. That was her thing. So just popped it open. Here I have some water for her and also for my friend Jewel. I made two candles, as you can see here for my grandmother and for Jewel. I went ahead and I used the elements of earth, water, and fire, and air. So I went ahead, I have everything set up. This is for my friend, my girlfriend Jewel. Love her very much. As you can see, her birthday uh, was it's gonna be in, in not very far from now. Um, and so I'm also honoring her. She loved Labradorite. She loved burning Palo Santo. We used to love hanging out and just snacking all the time. So what you can do is you can take certain symbols that they like to show them that you're thinking of them and that you're honoring them. And you could go ahead and set it all up. Now, I use two candles. This is for tranquility. This is for peace. They've already been dressed with my energy waters and other elements such as the goddess flame along with sage there is the crystals again i am representing all elements and then i took items that were special to my grandmother night now tomorrow some people start tonight and that's great i start a little bit as i'm preparing this evening tomorrow morning i'm going to make some toast i'm going to get some toast for the girls i'm going to go ahead and talk to them even tonight i may even speak with them as well uh i just I kept feeling in my heart to get everything ready. And then I wanted to share a story about my friend Jewel. Let's see if I could get her in there. Okay, that's my friend Jewel right here. Jewel, she there's this beautiful card that she had given, uh, the family had represented for her in regards to her funeral. And I'd like to share it with all of you. This is in loving memory of Jewel. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away into the next room. Whatsoever we were to each other, that we are still. Call, call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in the easy way which we always used to. <sighs> laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be the household word that is always was. Let it be spoken without effort. Life means all that is have ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolutely unbroken continuity. Why should I be out of your mind because I'm out of your sight? I am but waiting for you for an interval somewhere, somewhere very near 
just around the corner all as well. And how wild is this? But later on, I did a, a painting party. And let me see if I can get it in there. And it says, all is well. So it spoke to me in many ways. And I know that Joel is with me. And um, I think of her often. And then I thought about her. I was like, oh my gosh, let me tell you a story about Jewel. Jewel, we'd be driving in her car. And she would take Palo Santo and she'd burn it. And then I also have the incense here, which you'll also be able to see. Okay, so I have incense here for her because she would just burn incense, sage, and Palo Santo while we were driving. And she's like, uh, it's crazy out there. And um, she just knew um, while she was driving that she wanted to protect herself, keep herself clear. And um, that's how she crossed over was from uh, a vehicle accident. But because of her death, it's never been in vain. Uh, her father, Alexander Brangman, has been able to take her story and literally save many lives in the name of Jewel. So she, something she would choose, uh, something like that, like a, like a, like I'm coming out, I'm going out with, and I'm making a bang and I'm making an impact in this world. She was a healer too. She was a Reiki master healer. And um, she chose to use her life to help others. And that's totally Jewel. So. I love you, Jewel. Thank you for being in my life. And I think of you all the time, especially around this time, because remember, like, well, Jewel and I, we hung out after Halloween and we like ate all this Halloween candy and we got super like we had a lot of we had a really good time. We went to the beach. We went for a walk. We talked and then um, we came back home to my house and there was a bunch of candy. We ate a bunch of Halloween candy and we were doing readings for one another. And that was when we had experienced telepathy. It was really <laughs> Very memorable. <laughs> so she's near and dear to my heart. Now, uh, here, this is my grandmother. And my grandmother is such a faith-filled woman. She would have gone out in battle for me when there was, like, energies or spirits that wanted to get my attention or mess with me. My grandmother had, like, no fear. She was my warrior. And she would go out there, and she'd be very protective. And she let me know what my purpose, you know, she saw already gifts that I had and saw that I was going to make a big impact in this world. And she gave me a lot of blessings. Uh, I love my grandmother. She's super kind of uh, a woman that's really strong and courageous and very thoughtful and giving and caring. Uh, she was funny. And uh, we used to love treats, her and I. And so we would just eat a bunch of little treats. I'm going to have some little things for her tomorrow. Uh, you, this is a time where you can make this very custom for your family. Usually people use photographs. Um, if you have uh, personal items of theirs, you can also put it on the altar. Um, you can do things that represent for them. And then like for myself, I like to communicate with them. I like to be alone with my loved ones. So there's Miss Jewel. And so this is what I did for her. And there is an angel crossing through the worlds. And so I'm going to be doing that for them. Now, usually people uh, traditionally uh, celebrate it, usually in the Halloween up to like, I think, November 2nd. Um, I celebrate it, I set it up, and then I take the fruits and I take it back to nature and put it back as an offering. And then I'm going to burn these candles tomorrow for both of them and just pray for them and thank them for being in my life and how much they've influenced and impacted me in such a manner that I am so grateful for. And that their memory is not forgotten because I'm still alive and I'm holding them dear in my heart and keeping them in my memory and still speaking of them because they are such amazing women. And they have helped me to learn how to share and channel that love and unity and inspiration with others. So thank you to my grandmother and thank you to Jewel. That's how I'm celebrating Dia de los Muertos on Halloween. What are you doing special? How do you use this opportunity when the veil is thin, the opportunity to communicate with your loved ones? How do you use this as a moment of not just celebrating? I mean, I do it too. I'm doing all, all of it. But an opportunity where you get to communicate with them. The energy is very heightened and sensitive. So this is the time that you get to speak with them. So I use this day for my family. I use this day to be with my loved ones that are alive and well. And we celebrate. We celebrate life. That's the, that's the thing that is with our, in our household. We don't take it for granted. Because we know how important life is. And how important being with each other is. 
And even if it's just sitting next to one another and being next to each other and snuggle and fall asleep on the couch, like that's priceless. That's beautiful. And then we take the time also on Halloween and we, and we pray to those that had crossed over and we thank them and we, we celebrate them. We celebrate them that there's still continuity is still happening. They're still alive. They're, they're in a different timeline. And, and I believe that intentions that are, we are of a big consciousness and with our heart and our thoughts, our emotion, as we can project terrible things, we can project powerful, beautiful, loving feelings and frequencies in the world too. So hope you all enjoy this. Just giving you some ideas on how you can celebrate your family that's crossed over during this amazing, mystical, powerful evening of Hallow's Eve. Well, Halloween. And then, of course, we celebrate it until tomorrow. So anyhow, thank you so much for listening. I'd love to hear what you do to celebrate your family who's crossed over. And how is your Halloween? Take care, everyone. Bye.